Edinson Cavani salvaged a scarcely deserved point for Manchester United against Newcastle at St James Park. Alan St Maximin gave the home side the lead after seven minutes cutting in from the left flank before, on the stretch, hitting an unstoppable effort from the edge of the area. The Frenchman, who along with Callum Wilson left the field injured before the end of the game, should have made it to just after the break but he got an awful contact from six yards out when it appeared a simple task to turn home Emil Kraft's pull back, the Red Devils were level when halftime substitute Cavani turned home Diego de Lot's low cross at the second attempt. Three minutes from time, the Magpies were inches from taking a decisive lead when Jacob Murphy's shot came back off a post and then Miguel Almiron's superb curler from the edge of the box was tipped over by David Bucci, talking point no sign of Rangnick revolution. They have not played in 16 days but the lack of cohesion from the United side suggested it could have been 10 times this duration, for the umpteenth time over the last season and a half a while late. Veteran striker salvaged something from the game, in this instance Cavani. Rangnick's philosophy was always likely to take some time to bed in, but the most strange part of this very strange display, was the lack of any pressure put on the home side. In addition to this, the body language the German coach complained about in the last game against Norwich seemed a lot worse on this occasion with players, especially Cristiano Ronaldo, obvious in their disenchantment. The top four is only seven points, with two games in hand, away but it looks like a pipe dream on this performance, man of the match Joel Linton, Newcastle United. He was a number of fine performers for the Magpies, with Emil Kraft and Alan St. Maximin, barring one aberration. But Joe Linton was an irresistible force for the home side. Playing more centrally in midfield, but with freedom to influence the game wherever required, he drove the team forward, especially in the second half, when some teammates were thinking of holding on to a lead or a point, creating chances and putting the opposition onto the back foot. There will be a lot of surgery to the team in January, but the Brazilian is certain to be a big part of the second half of the campaign. Player ratings Newcastle United, Dubravka 6, Kraft 7, Char 6, Lassell 6, Manquillo 6, Shell 7, Longstaff 6, Fraser 7, Joe Linton 8, St. Maximin 8, Wilson 6, Subs. Murphy 7, Almiron 7, Gale 6, Manchester United. The G7, Diego de Lot 7, Rain 5, Maguire 5, Alex Tells 6, Mutomane 6, Fred 5, Bruno Fernandez 5, Greenwood 5, Rashford 6, Ronaldo 5, Subs. Cavani 7, Sancho 6, Matic 6. Match highlights 7 goal for Newcastle. Fantastic goal from St. Maximin. He cut in from the left flank, beating Delot and Maguire before on the stretch, slipping an effort just inside the far post. 48 What a chance. Great play on the right flank from Kraft, who nipped between challenges and then cut a ball to the six yard box from the byline. But St. Maximin virtually stopped the ball rather than slot it into the net, which looked a formality, and Bougie gathered. 71 Goal for Man United. Cavani scores at the second attempt. De Lot cuts a ball to the penalty spot, and his first shot is blocked by Lazels, but the second squeezes between the defender's legs for an equalizer. 87 so close from Newcastle, twice. Murphy curls a low effort against the foot of the post, and the Almiron shoots from the edge of the box but sees his effort tipped over by Dajee, 